video we will see how to access the file system and how to launch the code on boot up of micropython on esp32 first we will see how to access the file system uh, there are two ways to access the file system first one is uh, we will we can access the file system using command and second one is you can access the file system using ftp so let's uh, start with the first one uh, connect the board to the pc after connection you will get some locks so let's start we'll import the os object and let's uh, list out the directories list directory there is there are currently two files so let's create one new one so we'll give the command as a file open we'll give a name as a text dot txt and we'll give level for write okay file dot write for writing line in a file so we'll add a uh, first line as a uh, first line text we will write second line as a this is second line okay and we will close the file uh, let's check out the files okay as you can see one file is added here three files are there now now we will see how to read the file file 2 is equal to open give the file name which which one you want to read we'll uh, read a second file and we'll give access for read only okay so let's read now file 2 dot read line okay hello world is the uh, first line in the test.txt if you execute the same uh, function again we will get the second line and don't forget to close the file using file close function there is one more method but to delete the file so let's uh, list out the directories start the files ok there are two files we will remove one file so there is one function in os that os dot remove and give the file name we will give the file name as a text dot txt so let's check the files as you can see the file is removed now so let's install the mp tool Okay, installation is over now so we'll create one script and in the script we'll define one function which will take the string and print the string and we will add one more line once this uh, script get ex executed that uh, print will get printed so now we will transfer the file using mp tool before that we will check the number of files present on board so command is simple mp hyphen p serial port and we will have to give command as a ls so now we will transfer the script to the board mp hyphen p serial port number and uh, 
put and script name. So let's open this serial terminal now. So from we can uh, so from a serial term terminal you can execute the script. Input OS list out the directories. Okay, now our file is there. Import we'll import the script and we'll and now we'll execute the script now. To execute script we'll have to give the command as a script dot function name so here we go the output is on terminal whatever string we are passing to the function it is printing on terminal Now we will see how to execute the code on boot up. I have a ready script which will print the number on screen after one second. The script will get executed as soon as board boots up. So as you can see in a while loop we are printing the number and the, uh, we have given the delay as one second. Keep in mind that the name of the file should be forward slash main dot pi. Let's transfer the binary to the board. And we will restart the board now. Whenever board get started, that time MicroPython will start looking for the file that is slash main.py. As you can see, on boots up the numbers are getting printed on the screen 